right, so you can see here, it looks basically just like a regular liquid. Right. And if you pour it in here, it pours like a regular liquid. Right. But then near the end, you can see it gets kind of like this, this stringy consistency. Oh, it starts to get syrupy. Yeah. yeah. And then if you kind of pour it back into here, you can see it literally starts like siphoning itself back out of the beaker. Oh, for like heaven's sake. Like it's sakes. pouring upwards. It's like a self siphoning gel. It yeah. defies that. gravity, all right? Ah. Isn't that really cool? Now, uh, it's actually a super long molecule. Uh, mm -hmm. What's the molecular weight again? It's um, 4 million. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. now to a chemist, that's a big deal. Oh. All right, <laughs> all right mm -hmm. so let's extrapolate that. If I took a single drop and stretched the molecule out, it would be about? About 1.7 million miles long. Oh, See? really? Yes. Now look oh at that. Gosh, There's a little bit big there. numbers you've and, had. And we can color it too. So Mark, you have green in front of you. Uh, Chloe, mm -hmm. take the red yes, so that you've got it. So so this is it. This is a, um, it's a polymer, so a long chain of molecules. And the trick is just pour it just a little tiny bit there and then just let it start to pour it and pull itself out. Literally, it pulls itself out of the container. Oh, now, geez. sometimes it's hard for people to understand that, so we have to find a way to, to model this. Uh, it's important, I think, for kids today to understand what polymers are because we talk about plastics and we talk about recycling, but this stuff is literally just amazing because it pulls itself out. <laughs> How about little, that? Little Jack Spangler decided that we were going to make this some time ago, and oh, so I bet little Jack he loves decided it. that he was going to flush some of this. Oh, and so when no. you try to flush some of this and then pull it out, it pulls itself back out of the bowl, oh. which is an exciting thing for him <laughs> as well. But I think it's kind of fun. So this great, huge molecular weight and kind of a cool way to model this, all right? So if you could see it this way, this is kind of what uh, Chloe developed so you can see it. So here's the bowl here. And uh, what did we say the, uh, the analogy was a polymer is like? Like a long string of molecules. Right. So. so it's like these beads that are here. So all notice th that all the beads are hooked together. Mm -hmm. All you have to have is just a little momentum. So watch this. She's going to hold them over here. And the object is to, she's not going to pour it all. Watch what happens. She just pulls it out and watch what happens. It literally just uh, pulls itself thing. out. So that's exactly what's going on inside there. It literally is just pulling itself out. And we're seeing that with this long chain of molecules. Only with the liquid. Yeah. Kind of and finally, look at this one here. This is, is for all the chemistry fans. Um, the, an acid base in here. So we put cabbage juice and mixed it up with the material. And now when she pours back and forth, she's literally pouring a color. So look at all the colors that are in oh, the sure. strands oh, I can that see are there. Streams like the rainbow. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. So oh, she's literally sense. pouring a color because we've got an acid on one side and a base on the other side. Very, very weak, like a vinegar How and those things. How much fun is that? But if you're going to talk about molecules, why not a, a really smart young lady? This would lady. be a good one. Is this on the website? Absolutely.